going to get my hair cut. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and I'd rather be in bed. My dog woke me up three times last night to let him out. It's loud as hell, dude. We're going to finally get a break from this heat tonight for tomorrow. It's only going to be 80 degrees. The humidity is going to start going and I'm going to be jumping up and effing down because I can't take this shit. Yeah, see my hair, it just gets long. I can't, I can't style, I can't do shit with it, and I gotta dye it. And then as soon as I get done with my hair, I'm gonna go take my doggy for a haircut. Go pick up uh, a little bit more cat food from this lady in Clinton Township, where Eminem lives. I mean, he don't live right there by her house, but I'm just saying that's where he lives. And I believe he lives by where my one friend lives, because she lives by a gated community. She lives off a of Heindrich Road. Heindrich? Heindrich? If I'm saying it right. She has a big house. Beautiful house. Big, big house. Because when her mother was alive, she had like a whole half part of the house where her mother stayed. Like she had her own like kitchen rooms. Yeah, it was nice. But, um, anyways, um, I talked to my friend yesterday, but she, like, really didn't even answer me back. She didn't put nothing extra in it, so it is what it is, and I, I don't understand why she's, she's, something's really off with her. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I, I asked if that guy was still alive. The guy's still alive, but she didn't say you know, glad you're okay, how you doing, what's going on, nothing, she just answered the question, yeah, he's still alive, completed chemo or something, gonna start radiation or whatever, something like that, she said, see, they don't get it right, I t told her, she's always gonna die this way, I go now, and I told her that, they don't always get it right, but they were right with my dad, they said six weeks to six months. My dad lived two days when he came home. So they don't always get it right. It's hard for them to know why. Because everybody's different. And they're not God. Doctors are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But they're not God. Only God knows when we're coming and going. Nobody's God. And I believe that with my heart and soul. God put us here and he takes us from here. And nobody has the right to take us or bring us except for God. God has all the rights for everything. I love God. Anyways, I'm getting to be tortured today. One of the hottest days they're saying so far yet. I'm getting what I need to get done. Going home, changing my sheet upstairs. My dog dragged a bone in there. I'm going to kill his ass. Middle of the night. I'm going to wash my ass, put a clean sheet on, and I'm going to lay them down. I'm going to like, try to tell my husband to come up there because it's so much cooler in my room upstairs. And he needs to order that portable air conditioner. I don't know how to get it through his ding-dong head. The one I want him to get is almost $500. But it's twice as big as the portable. Sorry, my stomach don't like that pot. It's twice as big as the portable air conditioner that I have. I think mine's like a eight or 9,000 square foot. This is 14,000 BTUs or whatever. It does up to 700, 800 square feet. So it's bigger. So yeah. Good, good, good. I've told you guys that. I'm sorry. I forget what I tell you guys sometimes because I'm tired. Worked 15 hours yesterday. Barely got any sleep again last night. I just want to go home and relax and be clean. Have my hair done. Dye the shit. Be clean. Go to bed. Watch TV. The Outdoor Boys is my favorite YouTube channel. They got like an hour and a half um, YouTube. They See, he's got so much money from doing YouTube. He's in a foreign country like Africa or something and took his wife and his kids and it's just really nice. Really, really nice. Alright guys.
guys. We're going in here. I'm gonna leave you on for a minute while I go in here. <laughs> I'm a smart ass. I wanna see if she's busy. And kind of, if I can show you guys her, she does hair so good. Oh my god. I don't like that. Captain J's fish and chips. I don't like that. I wonder how Lefty's cheesesteaks are. Never had them one day. I don't know, two people just came out of here. We'll see. Hi. All right, I want Jen. 586-222. I really need a haircut back. Um, 8880. Yeah, and I'm going to wait for Jen. Okay. Yeah, I got to redo it again because my braids coming through. Thank you. Yeah. I don't look good because I got no makeup on. I worked all night. But if I was cleaned up, it'd look a lot better. Their stuff's so expensive. $17, $18 for their stuff for men or women. It's expensive. You know? It's called Crew. Their stuff for men. Yeah. She, I knew she'd have somebody in line. She's fixing somebody's hair. She's got a, a lady in line. See? She's so good. She's so good. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. And I don't know, like I said, I would have liked to have talked to my friend a little bit more. But she's not. And I, and I, when I was done texting her, I said, what did I say? I hope well, I go, I'm, I'm glad you're okay and Joe's okay. And uh, she didn't add nothing to it. Like, hey, how are you? Glad you're okay, too. Nothing. So... What is that? What kind of person does act like that? You are a grown woman. Why don't you act a little bit nice to me? I have been nothing but again. There's no. There's no. I don't know what has happened to her. She is not the same person. She's not happy. Something. I don't know. But like when she answered me, it was just to the point. This chemo's done getting radiation this week completed chemo yeah and then he wrote she wrote he's still alive oh, okay that's big of you like what, what, what is, we used to be friends and talk about something i don't i don't get it i i i don't get it um i don't need nobody so if that's the way she's gonna be then i don't want somebody like that in my life so something's wrong with her. She's not happy about something. And I wish she would just tell me what it is. And you can work on it. You can change your shit in your life. You know, I'm trying to work on a better job. And if my job don't give me some more money down the road, then I'm going to have to go. Because I'm spending over $200 a month in gas coming here. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the regular 40 hours. And... And then they're, 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 this, this makes me mad. This is how I feel with my job. My one boss that I thought I'm friends with is like mad that I want overtime. But I used to get it from him all the time. So I need to sit down and talk with him and maybe see where he's coming from. I don't know. I mean, like, is things changed? But don't form an opinion on me that I want overtime like I'm bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel that he's like, it's mad that I want overtime. But he used to give it to me all the time. So why is it now a problem to get it? Like, he used to just expect me. I worked every Christmas, every Thanksgiving, and I was getting time and a half and double time. So, why is it now bad all of a sudden? I don't know. So, I don't know. I'm, I, I need to talk to him. And, like I said, if somebody answered you, like my friend, nothing more... What would you take that as? She don't want to talk. 
So uh, I'm not sitting there begging somebody to talk to me. If you're, something's going on, because that's just, I don't know. She acted like when, when it was her other friends, a whole, like a friend that didn't even pay two shits attention to her, this girl. Oh, her mom died and this and that, and she's, she contacted her on Facebook and was so nice to her, and this girl lived with her and didn't give two shits about her. Didn't give two shits about her. So, but she ran and kissed her ass when her mom died all up her butt, and like, I'm just trying to talk to her. She didn't even want to talk to me. I don't need that. It's not cool. I thought we, you know, we went way back, way before any of our friends, and she don't seem to get that. We were little kids together. I don't know. What would you do? I mean, I'm just going to leave it alone, but I thought that was not, even, not nice again. Not nice again. At all. At all. Didn't say... Hey, I'm glad you're okay too, Lisa. I wish you the best too. Nothing. Not a damn word. So, that's not nice at all. That's totally rude, crude, and not a good person. Sorry. That's not how I operate. I don't try to hurt somebody that I'm friends with. Or was friends with, you know? I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. That's how I feel. That's how I perceive what she's doing to me. She may look at it differently, but I can only go by what you show me. Do you see what I'm saying? How you treat me is how I feel. So, not cool. What would you guys think and do? Let me know. I love you guys. I'll be back later.